Hey guys, this is Elias with Softly, and today I'm gonna show you how to export Metabox custom fields using WP All Export. Now guys, in today's video, we're gonna focus on the Metabox basic fields. So let's get on with that. Uh, and I'm gonna select the post type I wanna export, which is uh, Metabox post type, pretty obvious, right? So uh, we have 200 Metabox post types here, which we're gonna get exported. So I'm gonna click on the customize export file button right and here is the export template now guys as i said before this is just a quick video all right to show you how to export these basic fields so if you click here on this metabox section you will see the different fields we're going to export today now i'm going to show you how this looks here so i'm going to open for example this uh, post so we have the title and then we have a checkbox field and this is just a true false field Either it is enabled or it's disabled. It doesn't do anything else. Then we have this checkbox list, uh, which you can select multiple values, right? Then we have this radio, right? Then the select field, and then we have a text field and a text area field. So these are the Metabox basic fields. So if you guys want a more comprehensive video, uh, where we talk a little bit more in detail about all of the fields you can import and export in Metabox. You can check out the other videos in our channel or go to our website at wpallimport.com and there you will find a lot more uh, examples with real world data, right? So uh, for now, let's just continue with this one. And well, here the first thing we may want to do is just click on the preview button and here we have a little preview of the data we're going to export. Now these are 10 uh, fields which WPL export uses just for uh, preview purposes. So I don't really need the ID nor the content fields here. So I'm going to dismiss this and drag this off like so. Now guys you can drag uh, each one of these fields individually and as you preview you can see the whole file taking shape. Now, there is an easier way if you want to actually uh, get all of these fields into your export template. And that is, well, you can see here this uh, example fields element. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see that this one has black letters and the other ones have green letters. Now, the reason for that is because all of these are the individual fields. And this one is the field group. Now, if I uh, drag and drop this like so, you will see that all of the fields are added automatically. Now I'm going to preview and there you go. We can see here we have uh, the checkbox and all of the values for all of these posts. Then we have the checkbox list where you can see the different values are being are separated with a pipe. Right. Cool. Then we have the radio. Cool. Select the text and then we have the text area and that's about it right so uh, guys there is a lot of things you can do here for example let's say you want to change this uh, separator you don't want this to be a pipe maybe you want this to be a comma right so it looks uh, maybe nicer well you can do that using a quick php function so let's open the checkbox list element and here I'm going to write my function. So I'm going to say function and uh, change pipe. I'm going to call my function like that. Then I'm going to say data, right? And here I'm going to return, right? This str. And then here I'm going to return this. Right? And I'm going to say look for the pipe and replace that with a comma and a space in the data element, right? Cool, guys. So uh, I'm going to save my function and then I'm going to copy the name and enable this uh, option that says export the value returned by a PHP function. I'm going to paste my function here and I'm going to save it. Now, if I preview, you can see that our pipes are gone and now we have a comma and a space as a separator for our different checkbox list elements. Now, there are a lot of things you can do here in WPL export, and we dive a lot more deep into them in other videos. Just look for them in our YouTube channel or go to our website, like I said before, and click on the docs menu, and there you will find a lot more info on all of this. 
For now, I'm just going to continue with the export. And I believe we can make these checkbox values a little bit more mm, readable. Because right now, they're just ones and zeros, right? And this just means that uh, the checkbox is enabled and uh, this one, it, it's not, right? So we can use another PHP function. And for that, I'm going to open this checkbox and I'm going to write another quick PHP function. So I'm going to say function and this is going to be... Uh, fix checkbox right so let's use switch in data right and then i'm gonna say case uh one it's gonna return enabled right and case zero it's gonna return at enabled cool guys and then default value, it's going to return just data. And that's about it. Cool. So I'm going to copy the name of this function, paste that here, save it, cool, preview. And there you go. We have now changed the ones into enabled and the zeros into not enabled. So very straightforward. Let's just continue. Uh, here we have the different uh, export types and you can export this in a spreadsheet like layout or in a field layout now for the spreadsheet you can uh, choose csv or excel in two different formats and for the field you can uh, export this in a simple uh, xml field and if you preview you can see the same structure you set up uh, even with the php functions still running right or if you want to get uh, more crazy you can use the custom xml field now in this example, let's just stick with the CSV type and continue with our export. Now these are some uh, advanced options uh, for export and you can learn more about them at wpolimport.com but they are very much self-explanatory and you can even hover on the question mark and it will give you uh, some more details about what this option does. Right? And finally, we have here the scheduling options and this is a very powerful feature, especially when you combine that with Sapier, which has a direct integration with WPL export. So you can automate your exports and do some other crazy stuff using Sapier. Like, for example, uh, maybe you want uh, to run this export automatically uh, every single day with some data and have Sapier email that file to you. Uh, as a notification right which means that you can uh, open that file and see the contents of your export anywhere in the world without needing to actually log into wordpress and running the export uh, manually so it's pretty cool now we have two options for that and you're welcome to check them out but guys if you have any questions whatsoever about this you can always contact or support them and we will be more than happy to help you out now i'm going to confirm and run this export right and then uh, let's download our CSV and see what we got. All right, guys. So here we have all of the fields and all of the data seem to be here. So that's it. There you have it, guys. That's how you export Metabox basic fields to a CSV file using WP All Export. Now, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can uh, check out the other videos in our channel or go to our website at wpolimport.com where we have several other uh, videos with real world data that you can watch and learn a lot from them. So, guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.